Hey guys, so recently we have been up to Cape York in a tent. Now it was great fun, but we also had a few little challenges which I'm gonna tell you all about. So I was actually dreading this trip, uh, leaving the caravan and going in a tent with three kids. Uh, yeah, I was just wasn't sort of really looking forward to it, although I was excited to get up to the tip. Um, the kids actually slept really, really well, which super surprised me, but it just goes to show how adaptable they've become because years ago when we've um, been away in the camper trailer or in a tent ourselves with kids, they slept terribly, they were super hard to get to sleep at 7pm, they woke often, they were a little bit unsettled at night, so I just sort of thought that that would happen while we up at Cape York, but they were brilliant sleepers. So because we were in the tent, it was really hot up north, we didn't have our fly on. So there was heaps of light coming in in the morning and the kids were routinely waking between 5.30 and 6am. I was a little bit naughty and uh, gave them their iPads of a morning just to keep them really quiet, not wake other campers up. But also for us just to get the, that extra sort of half an hour's sleep, it was perfect. So the one thing I did find challenging was the logistics of being in a tent. And when you're in a caravan, everything's in there. You don't have to unpack really anything. Um, so easy to do the dishes and wash the kids. And this time, um, you know, we, we just had our tent. So we had like this little 12 volt uh, shower, which was great to bath the kids. And I actually forgot cutlery. Can you believe it? Thank God we met this family that had some plastic stuff so we just used plastic stuff for the rest of the trip, which was quite funny. The setting up and pack down was hard and, and we moved pretty much every day while we were getting up to the tip. Um, whereas if you're in a tent and you're on school holidays, you just go and you set up your camp for a, a week or two weeks or whatever and it's so easy and brilliant and I love being in a tent. The creeks were so nice to swim in and we ended up taking a chemical toilet, which was a saviour because you weren't trekking to the toilets if you're, we stayed at Punson Bay, so we weren't trekking to the toilets um, during the middle of the night. And it really was just a luxury to have it on board. We also have, yeah, the 12 volt shower that I was telling you about before. That was fantastic. Justin just um, plugged it into his 12 volt socket in his car and we had running hot water. It's amazing. The shower and the toilet were really handy on the old tally track. Uh, when you've got no facilities and, and that, it's just nice to have those little creature comforts at home. So when we got near the tip, we did stay at Punson Bay. It was a good little stop just to get some washing done, have a really decent shower. Um, there's a beautiful pool there and we ended up eating their wood-fired pizzas, which was so delicious. So a little bit about our tent, uh, which did make it that little bit more easier, was that it's a fast frame tent. So I think it's uh, an Austral 450 Tourer um, and it's like literally up in a couple of minutes. It's just click, click, done. We did take some self-inflating mattresses, which we found was the easiest option than taking an actual air mattress. Um, you just undo the valves, that they blow up themselves. They were brilliant to have. So in the back of our ute, we had um, the angle by the time we packed the tent, um, the sleeping bags, the mattresses, water, which had to take a few jerrys and food. We were pretty much packed to the hill. For meals, we really did keep it uh, very simple. Uh, I took, we took, have our Engel fridge, so we took uh, just frozen veg for all five of us to eat because fresh food takes up so much space. So we had the frozen veg and meat pretty much every night. For brekkie, we pretty much just did wheat bigs and sandwiches for lunch, and we had plenty of snacks to eat. And like I said, the fruit, uh, fruit the vegetables and uh, meat for dins, and we were pretty much sorted. So all in all, it was a great little trip. The kids absolutely loved it, and it was just such an achievement getting up to the tip. Um, the only challenge, obviously, was the pack up, pack down uh, pretty much every day. Uh, the kids slept really, really well. They did wake early, but it just meant they went to bed early, which was nice for us, because we could sit around the campfire, have a few bevies and chat. So um, get up to the tip, it was amazing. And I, I do love tenting it, but I was pretty stoked to get back in my van. <laughs> See you guys.